hi guys welcome to my crazy life it's Lori and today I'm gonna answer some of your questions that you asked when I put that short video out asking for some questions for Q&A so I thought this is the week we're gonna answer them all right let's get into it so number one I get asked this I'm looking for a pen so I can mark them off I get asked this a lot um, what made me want to do a YouTube channel? How did I get started? And what is my favorite part? So my favorite part is interacting with you guys and being able to share with you some of the thoughts and ideas that I come up with. How did I get started? Um, a friend and I actually started a YouTube channel. We had a couple episodes where we were dying yarn. So I watched YouTube channels and I thought that looked like fun and I would thought, that it would be a good idea for me to try it on my own. Um, and then when that, we didn't really keep up with that. It would just became too much to try to get together and all of that. And so I decided I was gonna do my own YouTube channel. And I did it with doing crafts and Dollar Tree hauling because those are things that I enjoy doing. And I love sharing ideas and thoughts. And this is a great platform for me to be able to do that. Um, question, where did I grow up? I was born in Ohio in a small town named Coshocton. And then we left there and I lived in Texas and then we moved to Massachusetts. And um, I went to high school, college in Massachusetts, lived there for several years. And then I came back to Ohio um, in 1999. And I have been here in this area ever since. So I've kind of lived all over the, you know, all over the place. All right. What do I like best about where I live? Well, the most important to me is living near my family. Um, if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know I do a lot of things with my niece and my cousins and my brothers are here. So I really enjoy that. I enjoy... Um, the simple life that I leave here. I don't really, you know, I'm not a fancy person. Now, I will tell you what, I live in New York City in a hot minute, if that was my lot in life. But it's not. And my job, my career, my home, everything is here. And I love it. I love living in Ohio. It definitely um, suits me. My favorite season is autumn or fall. I just love when fall rolls in and the air starts turning crisp. I mean, honestly, I love all the seasons and I love the beginning of all the seasons. When it first gets warm in summer, like I'm done with winter. I love the first snowfall. I love when the leaves change colors. I'm just, you know, I just love it all. So I don't know if I have a fave. I mean, I do love fall. Fall, I guess, would be my favorite. But I just love the changing of the seasons for me. Uh... How do I style my hair was a question that I got. Good question. Um, well, today it's a mess, but what I do, so this is my natural color. This is all my own gray. What I do is I wash it and I put a thickening spray and I put a mousse. I'm not really brand specific. And I run a comb through it, make sure it's all straightened. And then I turn my head upside down and I blow it dry. So I have a lot of natural curl in my hair and a lot of body. Even though it's it's thinning as I get older, I still have a lot of body. And then I flip my head back when it's, you know, finished drying all my hair so it gets some volume. And then I use what's called got to be glue. It's like a pomade, but it's a glue. And I put a little bit of that in and I put that through and it holds it. And then I spray the Dickens out of it with hairspray. So I guess the answer is a lot of product and right now it's long I need to get in to get it cut and then some of the gray goes away and it gets a little darker when I cut it because all my gray I mean I have gray everywhere but it's really focused around my face but when I cut it a lot of my dark hair comes out um have I been to California yes and no I've been to California but I, I really haven't got to explore California um, back in 2011, in October, I took a cruise and it cruised out of Los Angeles. So we flew into Los Angeles, stayed at the hotel, got on the ship the next morning and left down the East Coast. We went to Mexico, 
came back and I spent the night in Los Angeles and then came home. So yes, I have been to California, but I haven't really gotten a chance to go and tour, which I would love to do one day. I love to travel if you haven't figured that out. Um, how long have I had cats? Pretty much my whole life we've had cats. I think if I remember correctly in my entire growing up, we've had two dogs. Um, when I was very little, I guess my family had a dog. I don't remember this dog, but I definitely know we had cats. And then in 99, when I moved here, my, I moved back to Ohio because my stepfather had cancer and he wanted a dog. So we got him a dog. And then we had Muttley for several years until he passed away. Um, definitely more of a cat person. Sarah loves her dog and I love her dog. I love Luna. She's all over here all the time, but I'm definitely my lifestyle suits better to cats and I love them. I love their little personalities. Even though Wellington just cost me a hundred bucks, I had to take him to the vet. He's been scratching his ear and shaking and he has a little bit of an infection in there. So not a big deal, but I was like, dude, I just had you at the vet. Um, what motivates me to do so many things? I don't really know that answer. Um, I do know that I don't sit still well, if that, if that helps. I am not one that could sit around and watch TV. I, I need to be doing something. So if I'm watching TV, I'm crochet or crocheting a blanket or I'm knitting a sweater or I'm working on a cross stitch or reading a book. I don't, I don't do well, even for sitting down to read a book sometimes is a challenge. I do it, especially on vacation and I can do it, but typically I listen to audiobooks because I can just do them. So I just think I'm a naturally a high energy person and that really helps me, um, keeps me moving. Plus it bothers me when I have things on my to-do list that need to get done and I'm sitting down doing nothing, if that makes sense. How often do I ride my bike? In the summer, I like to ride my bike at least every weekend, sometimes midweek, it just depends. I love riding my bike. For me, uh, bike riding is the first day it's warm until Pelotonia, and then I typically don't ride it after Pelotonia. Plus it's been really hot, and after Pelotonia, then I start in with my job at the shop. That's when that starts picking back up. So I, my weekends are taken up with college football because that's what I do. Uh, but I love riding my bike. How do I feel about keto? I love keto. Um, it works for me. I'm morphing into more, I don't know, it's still part of keto, but it's a low carb, but I'm lowering my fat and, and raising my protein. But for me, success comes with um, the carbs and the sugar keeping those off. It's not really about weight loss for me. I mean, I have lost weight and I keep my weight down with it, but it's for keeping my um, diabetes under control. I'm trying very hard to stay away from insulin. Excuse me. Apparently I'm sleepy. Am I always in a good mood? No. <laughs> I'm just like everybody else. You know, I mean, typically I'm a happy person for sure. I have my days where I'm grumpy just like everybody else on those days, I just don't typically record because I don't feel like anybody wants to watch me being grumpy. Um, but it is few and far between for me. I'm definitely a high energy kind of upbeat person and I just don't like to dwell in negativity. But that's, that's a choice that I make, that I prefer to um, look at the positive side of life. So I hope that answers you. Um, what is my favorite part about having a channel? Do I plan content? Yes. Um, my favorite part is being able to share and communicate and, um, come up with something in my head and make it come alive and be able to show you how I do that. I mean, I think all YouTube content creators have a little bit of narcissism in them. You know, it just comes with the, the, the platform. 
Um, and yes, I do plan content. I try to make sure that on Mondays I have some type of a vlog or like today a Q&A. On Tuesdays I have my Dollar Tree haul. And then if I do any crafting or DIYing, I typically save that for Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and I plan all of my videos for the next week and I try to get them all recorded on the weekend so that I have everything recorded and edited and sometimes even uploaded on a Sunday afternoon. I'll start uploading videos for the week and I'll plan out that week. So I plan about a week ahead is what I do for me. Um, I do mess around with upload times. I'm trying to get better at reading my analytics on YouTube so that I can capture some more views and, you know, grow my channel that way. Am I from Massachusetts? I am not from Massachusetts. However, I lived in Worcester, Massachusetts from 1985 until 1989. And then when I graduated, I went to college in Boston for two years and then back to Worcester and lived there um, for several years and went to Worcester State. So I lived in Massachusetts for several years. I can pack my car for sure. What field of work am I in? I work for a bank here in Central Ohio. Um, it's Huntington Bank. And yeah, I've been working there since 2012, so I'm going on 10 years with Huntington. I've worked in two different departments. Um, I don't talk a lot about my day job just because it's really not relevant and it doesn't bring anything to the channel. You know, and it's it's definitely not something I need to broadcast what I specifically do for, you know, lots of reasons. But, yep, I do work for a bank. I was born in Coshocton, Ohio. A little small town. My grandfather owned the bakery there, or several bakeries there, and we grew up. My whole family, there's five of us and three cousins. So, in a six-year span, there's eight of us that all grew up together. Um, how old are the boys? Wellington is 13 and Alex, we think is seven. Um, hard to tell because he was a rescue, but the, the veterinarian that I had him at and the rescue veterinarian agreed that he's probably at this point around seven years old. So he's, he's my little young Gus, but he's a, he's a chunker and he and Alec or he and Wellington get along so well that I was just so lucky when I adopted Alex. Um, how do I carry my kayak? It's heavy. I will tell you most of the times when I kayak, I'm not going alone. And so we, I can usually muscle it up onto the top of my car. I have a rack. And then when I get to wherever I'm kayaking, we help each other get them off the cars and we help each other get them back on. But it's heavy. I need to get one of those lift thingies that you like hook up to the back of your car and you put it in there and you can lift it and it'll slide into its rack. But yeah, it's a, that's a tricky one. It's hard, but I love it. Um, how often do I shop at the Dollar Tree? <laughs> More than I probably should. Um, I go at least three times a week to different Dollar Trees. Um, I try to hit, I have, a, I have four now four that I go to on the regular. So I go to those at least once a week, um, sometimes twice a week. Now that we're getting into the holidays and Christmas stuff is coming and it goes cr really quickly, I try to get in there several times a week to each of the stores to just see if I can grab something before it's gone. Um, but it's definitely a job to keep up with finding new items at the Dollar Tree to show you and to make it interesting for you to watch and worthwhile for you to watch. Uh, where do I get all my energy? I don't know. I think I've always been a high energy person. Um, I will tell you when I became a diabetic and I wasn't eating right, I was very low energy and part of giving up carbs and sugar has increased my energy back to where it used to be. Um, so diet is some of it, but most of it, if I had to say, is just natural. I mean, I was born this way. Trust me, my teachers were not impressed with my energy level growing up. If my mom got one, one message, she got 500 that I wouldn't stop talking or sit still. Just natural to me. Um, how's my finger? It's healing. <laughs> Let me see if I get it. I mean, that's a big gash. 
it's still tender. It's all closed up now, except for this little slit down the middle, but in a couple days, I think that'll peel off. Um, it's numb still, like where it cut through, but then tender around the edges. So it's a bizarre little cut, but I will make it through. It was scary. Nobody likes severing off part of your body. Yeah. Um, my birthday is in October on the 23rd. I'm a fall baby. Maybe that's why I like fall so much. Yep, I will be 51 this year. Mutt are my favorite channels. I just, it ebbs and flows. I watch a lot of, lately, I've been watching this woman named Giselle Waldner, and she's a Hutterite from Canada. Um, I like royalty soaps, so I watch that. I watch other Dollar Tree haulers, um, Keto Twisted Gypsy, K is for Karen. Um, I watch, Shy town girl sometimes. I watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. Auntie Cuckoo is a favorite. I love her home decor. I watch Bargain Bethany sometimes and our Bargain Beauty. Um, I watch her Aldi hauls. So I, I'm all over the place. Again, energy. I don't sit down and watch a lot of TV, but when I do, you know, it depends on my interest is at that in particular moment. You know, I love planners, so I watch a lot of planners, but I maybe don't subscribe to them all. I might just watch a few videos here and there. Um, Pinterest, I get a lot of my ideas from too. Uh, my younger years, I lived, well, after I graduated high school and college, I was a nanny for like seven years and worked in the hotel business for many, many, many years. And when the you know, industry started collapsing and my last hotel that I worked for closed 12 years ago. I was done with hotels and that's when I got a job at the bank and kind of worked my way into the position that I'm at. But the younger Lori was pretty much me. I mean, I traveled a lot. I was very, I'm a very social person. I did a lot, always did a lot of crafting and yeah, I just went out a lot. I might have my days of maybe drinking and smoking and doing young adult things, but you know, I came around, I came around, but it's kind of just me. I've always just been this personality. I don't know if you wanted to know something specific about my younger years, but fun fact, I was 21 until I got my driver's license because A, I was afraid to drive and B, I lived in Boston and didn't need a driver's license, but that's a fun fact. Have I been married or in a serious relationship? No, I've never been married. Yes, I have been in a serious relationship. Um, I've dated several people, um, men for several years. Um, I just never, I don't, you know, I don't know. Keeping up with me is not easy. I'm not going to lie. My high energy is not for everybody. I will tell you that. It's great on YouTube for the 20, 25 minutes that I'm on here and my upbeat personality and all that is great, but you know, it might be hard to keep up with sometimes or to live with, I guess. I don't know. And I, I don't know. It just, you know, never, it's not happened yet. How about that? So no, I've not been married. I don't have children. I have my nieces and nephews and all my little cousins and I'm perfectly happy and content with that. And the last question I had was how many pets do I have? And I have two. I have Wellington and Alex, my two black cats. Well, Wellington is a tuxedo. Alex is a black cat. I have them. And then I have my dog, my niece's dog, Luna. Whenever Sarah wants to, uh, you know, go out and do something or if she wants to go away for a weekend, I watch Luna for her, which is perfectly fine. Um, speaking of, I had to show you this. I'm obsessed. It's one of these little zipper bags that you put all your pens in, but look. Uh, it's a black cat. It's like a canvas material, and it holds, it pops up like this and holds all your, like, pens and, and planner supplies. And then you come down here, and you pull it, and then it sits. And all your pens are available. And then when you want to go... You know, right? I got it on Amazon. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed our Q&A. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'm pretty open book, pretty easy to read. Um, if you're looking for more personal updates from me, I mean, I'm posting on Instagram all the time. 
Uh, my name on there is my crazy life underscore Lori. It's usually at the beginning of my videos. If you have an Instagram account, follow me over there. I post all kinds of stuff. Cute stuff about my channel, stuff about my regular life, pictures of the football games, silly pictures of my cats, anything I'm working on. I uh, I'm always on Instagram updating things. So that's really a place to catch me when I'm not on YouTube. All right, guys. Thank you. Ugh, thank you so much for watching and you have a great day. Bye.